This is a lot of books. Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be pretty much one very big book review video because I'm going to share with you 10 of my favorite books that have honestly changed my life for the better. They've motivated me, they have inspired me to make some really positive changes in my life and I really just wanted to share them with you guys. I really recommend that you do check them out and if you've actually read any of the ones that I'm going to share with you today, please comment below. I always love seeing which books you guys are reading, which ones you want me to be reading next. And if you guys are subscribed to my vlogging channel, Life with Jess, then you've probably been seeing some of my book review videos coming up every now and then. But I really just wanted to do my 10 favorite books for 2017 on this channel because I've also gotten a lot of requests to share my favorite books with you guys, favorite websites, apps, and I just thought it would work really well. So I hope you guys enjoy. And before we get into today's video, I wanted to share one thing. I promise it's only one little update. But my stationery line, which used to be known as Seated Educationery and is now known as Educationery, has moved. We have a new website name. It's educationrybyjess.com. So if you guys want to check out my stationery, you should check out my planners and books to help you study more effectively and just take that stress out of studying. So do check it out. It's educationrybyjess.com. And I just wanted to keep you guys informed just in case someone goes to the old website and it's not working and redirecting you to the new one, then heads up. I've done my job. I've let you know. Also, I will leave a link to educationrybyjess.com down below. When you head to the website, make sure to sign up to be one of my VIP study buddies. It's free. You just enter your name and email address, but you get weekly emails from me, including my favorite inspirational quote and my weekly blog posts. And also you get a $10 voucher to spend on your next purchase as well. So make sure you click on the link below, head to educationrybyjess.com and become one of my VIP study buddies because my VIP study buddies and I, we have a lot of fun. All right, now let's get into today's massive book review. And I have 10 books I'm gonna share with you one by one. I've kind of categorized them into inspiring books that will help you find your purpose or figure out what to do with your life, books to help you stay organized and books just that are more like food for the soul. So let's get into it. Now I should probably say that some of these books do have dedicated book reviews on my vlog channel, but I did wanna share them in today's video because they're honestly amazing. So this book is called The Big Leap, book number one by the way, should probably introduce it. It's by the author Gay Hendricks and it's called The Big Leap. I read this book in honestly under two days. I just powered through it because I found it so valuable and I just got so immersed into it. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a gist of all of these books. I'm not going to do very in-depth book reviews because I feel like this video is probably going to go for somewhere close to two hours because I just love to talk and share all of the wisdom in these books but I do want you guys to go and read them as well so I don't want to spoil it for you but this book is all about figuring out what we do that seems to inhibit us from achieving our goals so the main thing that the author talks about in this book is they termed it upper limiting yourself so it's the idea that when something goes right in our life somehow we seem to sabotage when we're on that positive streak and we start to think about the negatives or there are underlying negative beliefs that we have that stop us from feeling like we can actually achieve our goals or feeling worthy of achieving goals, feeling worthy of success and feeling deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Now, if anything in your life is not exactly going according to plan and you feel like something keeps stopping you, it doesn't just have to be financial. It can be with your relationships. It can be with your health. It can be with any aspect of your life. It's this idea that we need to think about what it is, what sort of beliefs we have about ourselves and our abilities that seems to be blocking us. And something that the author talks about is being able to enter your zone of genius. And this is where the real magic happens. This is where we're at our absolute best. We're living in line with our core values, our purpose. We're succeeding in life. We're being authentic and true to ourselves. And it's really amazing because after reading this book, I honestly did realize that there were things in my life that weren't really going the way that I knew that they could because of my own negative self-beliefs. And this book honestly helped me a lot. And for me, it was more my relationships and also my career. So I really, really did find a lot of value in this book. And I first discovered this book actually thanks to another YouTuber who is one of my favorites, although I haven't met her, which is Mimi Icon. I know she was doing a monthly favorites video ages ago where she showcased The Big Leap. And I just thought to myself, I gotta check that out. So I did and I'm really, really glad I did. 
Now this next book, I love it so much. I discovered it when I was on a yoga and health retreat in Byron Bay. One of the yoga instructors actually talked about two of her favorite books and this was one of them. So of course, feeling all inspired, I just had to go home and order it myself. It's called The Desire Map and it's by the author Danielle Laporte. She's written a few other books. I haven't gotten around to reading them, but I definitely will because this book is fantastic. It honestly flips goal setting on its head. Now let me explain to you what I mean by flipping goal setting on its head. So whenever you think of goals that you want to achieve, it's more that we want to achieve something in order to feel a certain way. And rather than thinking about what do we want to achieve that's going to bring us happiness or bring us joy when we achieve that goal, think about what you actually want to feel. What are your core desires in life? What do you want to get out of your life? And when we think about how we want to feel, it actually changes the goals that we want to achieve. And they're going to be much more aligned with what's right for us. And it's really interesting. So for example, and I, I also did this book as a little mini book review on my vlog channel, so you can check it out. And I do talk about this in a lot more detail. But for example, I used to say that I wanted to go to yoga five times a week because I wanted to have more energy and I wanted to be more fit and healthy. Now, what I really wanted when I started reading this book was to feel more energized and happier. So that doesn't actually mean going to yoga five times a week is necessarily going to help me get to that point. What's going to help me feel more energized? Sometimes it could be having a pajama day at home on a Sunday just to have some downtime. It could also mean eating more green vegetables, trying to add a green smoothie to most of my days. Perhaps it's also adding in some more meditation into my day when I get really stressed because that definitely depletes my energy when I'm feeling really stressed or overwhelmed. And also maybe I want to go outside and get some sunshine. It's not just about going to yoga five times a week and that that's going to fix all my problems. So it was a really interesting read and what I love about it is it not only talks about the way to set these effective goals, but there's half of the book which is actually all different exercises and it helps you to figure out what your core desires are and what you really want to feel in life and narrow them down. There's a double page spread here or I think it's even longer than that and it lists a ton of different emotions and I just went and highlighted which ones I felt were most applicable to the way that I wanted to feel. Oh, here it is. Okay. There you go, guys. So there's everything from I want to feel mindful, masculine, natural, nourished, harmonious, healthy, gentle, friendly. It goes through every single feeling that you could possibly come up with. And then the other half of the book contains a range of different exercises, all to help you figure out not only how you want to feel, but how you want to feel in all areas of your life, how you want to feel when you think about your occupation, when you think about your friendships, your financial situation, your health, all of the different aspects of your life. It's very thorough and it's very, very effective. I actually have my core desires written on a little post-it note. I stuck it on my vision board and I also stuck it on my laptop as well, just so I'm looking at it every day. Now the last book in this category of well-being and figuring out your purpose and working on our mindset is... The Life Plan by Shana Kennedy. So this is a limited edition that I got from Kiki K, but you can get it from Amazon Book Depository. You can get it online pretty much everywhere. And I love it so much. I actually featured this in an inspiration haul video a really long time ago. I can't remember if it was this year. I think it was last year. But I really wanted to go through it again in more detail because it is honestly a must read for 2017. So Shana Kennedy is a life coach and this whole book is all about how to figure out what it is that you want out of your life, what does success mean for you, what are your goals, how are you going to get there and also looking after your well-being which is why I really gravitated towards this book in the first place because I do have a bad tendency to get overwhelmed, stressed and burnt out. And I really do feel like my well-being is something I'm really focusing on this year. So just a little sneak peek into this book. It's got beautiful photography dispersed throughout all of the chapters. It's got different exercises and it also goes really in depth into different topics that I found were very beneficial. It starts with figuring out your definition of success and just really getting you to think about what your values are, similar to the book that I just showed you and talked about. There's also different lessons that you've learned throughout your life, even tips on how to simplify your life or declutter your life and not just organizing your room, but actually decluttering your life when it comes to negative relationships or unhealthy habits. And I really found so much value in it. I think I read this book also in just a couple of days. I actually remember sitting in my parents' sauna and 
just reading through all the chapters, highlighting and annotating. And I had so many post-it notes at one stage. I actually just took them out because it was very distracting, but it's just so beautiful. There's also different quotes that are dispersed throughout the chapters. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, this one says. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really beautiful book. And if you guys are looking for some more guidance on what to do with your life or even just to focus on your well-being and mental health, then do check out this book because it's honestly been one of my favorite books for a really long time now. All right, now I'm going to get through a couple of books that I recommend when you want to get organized, use your time really well, and also stay productive. So I feel like I might not be allowed to do this, but I'm going to be very brief. It's only because it's my baby. So I just wanted to say the High School Survival Guide, it contains a ton of tips and tricks all about how to stay organized for school guys. I'm just saying, tiny mini plug. But I honestly just love sharing this book with you guys because I work so hard and it honestly covers everything that you guys ever ask me. So I'm just going to go through the table of contents. If you haven't checked it out already, you should go to Amazon, check it out, purchase it. You can get an ebook, get the hard copy, whatever floats your boat. But I do talk about everything from socializing in school to managing stress, studying for your exams, completing your homework, staying organized, even figuring out what to do once school ends. And high school in Australia is when you're 12 to 18 years of age. So I know it's a little bit different overseas, but pretty much if you're in that age bracket, it's applicable to you. So go check it out. And if you guys have purchased it off Amazon, please leave me a nice little review. I'd love to read them. Okay, enough of that, Jess. All right, fine. Okay, next book. Another favorite. This one is called Work Smarter, Live Better. It's by Cyril Papillon. I actually don't know if I'm ever saying his name right, but I do my best to pronounce it. This book is another one of the limited editions from Kiki K, but again, you don't have to get it from Kiki K. And it also changed my life. I actually completed, I think I mentioned this once before, but I completed two days worth of work in one afternoon because it honestly stops you from procrastinating and the tips that it gave me for time management were invaluable. So the one thing that I really got out of this book was just how to actually tackle your to-do lists a lot better. So for me, I used to write down a long list of to-dos and I like to feel in control of my life so I tick them off as I go, but it's actually really overwhelming to see everything you need to get through. So instead, what this author recommends you do with your to-do lists is you actually slot them into your diary, you schedule everything, any to-do or task that takes less than five minutes, you batch it all together and you do it right away, or you designate a bit of time to do them all together at some point during the day. And anything that takes around 10 plus minutes, that gets scheduled into your diary. And whenever you write down that you promise yourself you're gonna do it, you actually have to commit. And it really does just stop you from procrastinating. It's, it's all about self-discipline. And I feel like the tips are really simple but they're very effective. So check out Work Smarter, Live Better. If you guys are feeling overwhelmed with all of your work, this book is amazing. I feel like I say every book is amazing, but they are, and that's why I'm making this video. All right, guys, if you need some help getting organized or you don't feel organized enough, get it, organized enough, then check out this book. It's by Amanda Sullivan and it is so good. So organized enough, it's not about being a perfectionist. We don't have to have everything perfectly organized and everything put away. We don't need to live in some sterile kind of home. It's about making your environment work for you. So if you guys reach for the olive oil really regularly when you're cooking, if you know that you use salt every day or you make a tea every day, leave that stuff on the bench. It's okay. It's about actually making your home livable, but functional and working for you so that it's not going to distract you from your tasks or just like everything's getting too much. So I really do like this book because I feel like so many of us have this idea that everything has to be perfect, that our studies have to look like they belong on Pinterest or Instagram and they really don't. It's just about making it work for you. So if you guys want some help getting organized, check out Organized Enough. And I just really like her approach to this because life is about enjoying yourself and not feeling so uptight and rigid with your daily life. So yeah, I really did like this book and I do find it very valuable. Okay, now we're getting onto, oh my God, I don't know why I'm getting so excited. I'm sitting in my study filming, there's nobody home. I feel like such a loser right now because I'm making myself laugh, but I'm really excited because I love the books that I'm about to talk about. They are all about wisdom and enlightenment and feeling inspired for life and they're just amazing. These authors are brilliant. So I've got to get into the first one. First one is 
it's like falling apart right now with all of my post-it notes. Yeah, they're actually ripped. It's Life Lessons from the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari and it's by Robin Sharma. OMG guys, this author, he's brilliant. I need to read a few other of his books because this is just such a beautiful book. I have read it, Adam's read it, I then gave it to my dad to read and then when I was looking for it today I couldn't find it so I realized that it was still at my parents' house and my mum was so kind she actually came and dropped it off today because I really wanted to share it with you guys as part of this video. Life Lessons from the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. It's 101 life lessons that he has acquired and every chapter is like two to four pages so it's bite-sized pieces of knowledge but everything that you need to know, he just fits it into just a couple of pages. So you can actually pick it up at any point in time. You don't have to read it all in one go. You might just want to reach for it every morning and read just one chapter to get inspired. So a couple of pages takes five minutes, if that. And he goes through the most beautiful lessons that he's acquired in life from why we should journal to why he has a fruit juice every day or why it's so important to practice forgiveness or become a volunteer. There are so many fantastic topics that he covers and I feel like I'm not going to do it justice by really briefly talking about it, but I'm just going to flip through the table of contents. So very briefly, just a couple of the chapters that really stood out to me. The importance of learning to be silent and just listening to what other people have to say, not always feeling like we must contribute to a conversation. Or things like how to start your day well and create an optimal morning routine, how we can learn from children and their perspective in life how he needs to laugh more, or the fact that he always carries a book with him, or that he tries to take a mini vacation every year, that he practices being humble, and also not being so hard on himself. So there are just so many chapters that I really, really enjoyed reading, and I feel like it doesn't matter how old you are, you will get something out of this book. So if you've read this book, please comment below, because I've actually had a few of you guys comment that you've read this book already, and you wanted me to do a book review on it, not realizing it's one of my favorite books too. So yeah, please let me know down below. This next book changed my life. It is the reason that I'm doing YouTube today. It is the reason I have a stationary line educationary. It's the reason I wrote a book. It is the reason I am where I am. And this author is brilliant. He's one of the most incredible spiritual teachers I've ever come across. I actually got to listen to him present two years ago. My mum and I went to one of the presentations he was giving in Melbourne. It's Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle, Eckhart Tolle, I don't know how you guys pronounce his name, but he is the most beautiful soul. So this book is called A New Earth and it is the book that I read right before I had this idea of starting my own business and it was just like this snowball effect and from thinking about stationery to starting a YouTube channel to writing a book to all the other amazing opportunities I'm now working on, it really started with this book. And it's so funny because my parents actually had this book in their home for years I didn't even realize and then one day I don't know where I heard about it but I really wanted to read A New Earth and my mum said oh we've actually got that book it's been sitting near the fireplace for years so it was just so strange how it's always been there in front of me but I never really gravitated towards it until a few years ago and then it was just absolutely life-changing and there are a few other books that he's written that I have read as well but this was the one that really stood out to me so I wanted to talk about it today it is very inspiring. It talks about the world. It talks about man's purpose on earth. He also talks about the importance of going about your day, being very present and mindful and experiencing everything for what it is and not really resisting change because we really can't change the fact that life is always changing. I, I feel like I'm not going to do this book justice to go through and give a little bit of a brief explanation. So I really recommend you do pick it up. But Eckhart Tolle is an incredible spiritual teacher. He talks about philosophy, he talks about religion, he talks about all aspects of life, evolution, man's purpose, what it means to be successful in life. It's honestly all in this book. And yeah, this is my favorite book that he's written so far. Okay, please don't laugh at me guys, but the next book I'm going to show you is, it's actually my sister's favorite book and one of mine as well. It's Oh The Places You'll Go, by Dr. Zeus. Now this is not a children's book and I actually talked about this, I feel like I did a mini a mini story time in Life With Jess, my vlog channel. I was showing you guys through my bookshelf and I did talk about this book in more depth, but Dr. Zeus's stories, I feel like they're children's books or they, 
They're designed like children's books, but they're actually made for adults. And the messages that he has in these books are very deep, like really deep, guys. So this book for me particularly resonates with a lot of entrepreneurs, people that are looking to take a leap of faith in their life and start a business or just make a really significant change with their life. And there's one particular part of this book that when I read it, I realized just how important it is to read this book in between the lines and really interpret what he's trying to convey. And so I wanted to read this to you because it's one of my favorite pages. So before I actually read this page, the book is about this boy that's having this incredible adventure and he's discovering different lands. So he gets to different places and then he comes across the waiting place. So it says, the waiting place is for people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow. And it goes on to say, everyone is just waiting. And the point of this book really is take a leap of faith. If there's something that you want to go and do, chase your dreams, be confident in yourself. Don't wait. Don't wait for the perfect time because there is no such thing as the perfect time. And... I actually remember it sitting in a yoga class. It was a yin meditation class and the teacher also picked up this book and read it to us and it just clicked. I realized how deep this book was and how serious the themes were. And so I really recommend you guys, if you have it in your bookshelf, go pick it up again, reread it. And I'm telling you, it's like reading a completely different story now. Last book, we've made it. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me because I feel like I just get so excited. I don't want to make a five minute video to condense all of these books into that amount of time. I really want to do them justice. So the last one is Craft for the Soul by Pip Lincoln. Now I had this book for a couple of years before I actually picked it up and read it. My mum got it for me as a gift and originally I just used it to style my study and film set. And then I realized how beautiful it is. So one of the things this book talks about is the importance of adding creativity into our daily lives. To be creative, not just for the sake of earning money and having it as our occupation and being professional artists or graphic designers or interior designers, but to just be creative. It's food for the soul. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's called craft for the soul, but to be creative, it's feeding that inner child. It's allowing yourself to just do something and make something not because you want to impress anybody, but you're just doing it for yourself. And to set aside time every day or at least every week to do something creative, it's so important for you. And it exercises a different part of your brain as well. So there are different exercises that she gives at the back of the book. And it's not just things like painting. She even shares her favorite recipes. It's so adorable. And the illustrations, oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. Look at the little camel. I get very excited by these things. But look at this, just the chapter dividers. They're so beautifully illustrated and she's designed the book herself. It's just stunning. And then she also talks about well-being in general, not just creativity and art and craft, but even how she creates her own morning routine. And you know, she gets up every morning before anyone else in the house is awake and she has a cup of tea. She goes for her walk every morning and she goes to her local cafe or bakery. And it's just really beautiful to see how there are different ways that we can create time in our days to really feed ourselves and make ourselves happy and live a fulfilled life to create more time in the day so that we don't neglect ourselves okay who's still with me guys if you are thumbs up this video so i know how many people actually stuck around but i do hope you guys are liking my longer length videos i really like just being able to sit down and chat to you guys so please comment below what you guys thought of all of these books that i reviewed if you've read them as well let me know down below and also check out my vlogs if you want to see some more in-depth book reviews on some of these books. I'm not really sure if you guys want me to do more book reviews on this channel rather than my vlog channel. So let me know about that too because I'm still kind of figuring out what to be putting on the vlog channel versus what goes on Study With Jess. Also guys, don't forget I will leave a link to my book, The High School Survival Guide, down below as well as my stationery line, Educationery. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the start, but if you sign up to my newsletter, then you get a $10 voucher to spend on your next purchase and you become a VIP study buddy, which means you get weekly emails from moi. Alright guys, that's all from me today. I will see you guys next week with another video, but have a beautiful week and I'll speak to you very soon. Mwah. Bye!